Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Up Session channel. Want to sync the carburetors on your motorcycle for next to nothing? Stay tuned. We're not really going to have any kind of review uh, today. Instead, uh, I I'm spending my whole weekend working on this motorcycle. It's a Yamaha B Star 1100. Again, I let it sit with gas in it, and um, you shouldn't because I spent days and days, almost a week, tearing apart everything, getting to the carburetors, pulling the carburetors off, and ungunking all the jets. I'm talking, I had a, a pilot jet in that carburetor that was totally clogged. I couldn't get a thin metal wire through it. So, took a lot of work, <laughs> then uh, putting everything back together, making sure I don't have vacuum leaks, lots of fun, let me tell you. Anyway, um, now I need to synchronize those carburetors. You want um, basically the vacuum on both sides to be exactly the same on both carburetors going to the two cylinders in this case, because we have a two cylinder motorcycle, V-Star 1100. And um, you could go out and buy uh, a fancy carb synchronizing tool or whatever they call it to get some other anonymeter, whatever. And, um, you know, $50, dollars $200, it, it costs a lot of money. Or you could get two glass bottles and some plastic tubes, tubing, and some rubber stoppers and do it very accurately for next to nothing. So here's how to do it. So instead of using a fancy tool, we're just going to use these bottles and these hoses and some rubber stoppers. So again, um, we're saving money and what you do is you attach these to the uh, vacuum ports on each cylinder and they go to each bottle, the black, you can see the black uh, hose here, goes to each bottle. I'm going to pull one of the stoppers out here and you can see it only goes to the other side of the stopper. It doesn't go down into the bottle and that's the case with both bottles. And then of course there is a another clear tube I have here that goes all the way down to the bottom of each bottle. And after you set that up, you go ahead and close these up real good because there's going to be a, a suction of vacuum created in these. And what will happen is if one of these bottles get more of a vacuum than the other, it's going to suck the water up the tube and into the bottle that has less air in it, <laughs> more of a vacuum, because the other one will have more pressure, it'll push the water all up into that bottle, and you'll know that you have, um, your, your carburetors are on balance and it's creating more of a vacuum on one cylinder than the other. So, I, I don't know if it's technically correct the way I'm explaining it, but that's sort of how this works. So you just, about, you know, go ahead and turn the screw that sort of um, will I, I guess set what a carburetor to be open more than the other. You know, you just sort of uh, tweak that screw and until this fluid in these bottles stop moving up or down. Now, they could be a little bit off. You could have more in one than the other, but as long as it's not moving, then you have equal pressure on both sides and you're good to go. And you did it with a, a very cheap setup here instead of buying a tool that probably costs at least $100. Before we go any further in the video, I did get something in my P.O. box from somebody. The person's name is Kevin White, and it says to open up on camera. So, I'm going to stop everything. If someone took the time to send me something, uh, I am going to uh, greatly appreciate it, and I will definitely slide it in to the you know, video, the first possibility or the first chance that I have. So we'll go ahead and open this up on camera. You packed it really good, Kevin. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay, there is a letter in here. It says read on camera. So everything on here is safe to read. So it says, Dear Fred, I just watched your YouTube video about the tractor up knives you purchased at Tractor Supply and it sounded like you really wanted a Barlow knife. That That is true. I got this Barlow knife from my grandfather after he passed away and I never really carried it. I prefer tactical knives. 
As soon as I saw your video, I knew I wanted to send you my old Barlow knife to add it to your collection. Uh, you can clean it up and make it look brand new or leave it just the way it is. I really enjoy watching your knife and gun videos. I hope you make them for a long time. Your faithful subscriber, Kevin White. Well, that is very, very nice of you. And I, I cannot express my appreciation uh, for, for such a warm letter and um, for a knife. Wow, this is definitely a, a, a classic. Let me let me show you this real quick. Look at that. It says Barlow on it, and the uh, scales—they almost look like uh, those old-fashioned uh, bakel light. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what they are, but um, really, really nice. Let's go ahead and open this up. I'm almost afraid to clean this up. Wow. Let's see. This is a multi... Well, multi-master... Multi-master... Util... Uh, Ithaca, Ithaca, New York, maybe? I don't know. It's very hard to see. Let me see. Maybe you guys can read it. That's incredible. So if, if that is New York, this is made in the USA. And I'll tell you what, even though it looks um, pretty bad, actually a lot of this rust is surface rust and it's uh, more wear from carrying. The, the You know, this probably could clean up very nice. What I might do is uh, very, very carefully. But look how it is still, even though it looks like it's bad it is solid I mean it is <laughs> I got new knives that do not um, snap in the place with no up and down play just a little side to side but you know what this is a very old used knife that uh, has held up very well they don't make knives like this anymore I Kevin I, I don't know what to say I really really appreciate it I'll uh I'll see if I could clean it up and um, something that your grandfather would be proud of, maybe. Okay, thank you very much, Kevin. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the video. Now, I didn't invent this. I uh, saw this on YouTube on how to do it, so I copied it. And I have two glass bottles. And you don't want to use plastic because the vacuum that's created, if you use plastic, they'll, they'll suck flat and then you'll get fluid in your motorcycle in your cylinder so not a good idea and you can see I have water in here see and you could use whatever fluid you want but um, this type of setup there's no risk of sucking liquid into your motorcycle unless these bottles were to fall <laughs> and your carbs were way off which would you know pressure anyway um, so we also have another set of tubes one coming out of each bottle these only go through the rubber stopper and stop. They don't go all the way down to the bottom. And each one goes to the vacuum port, wherever it is on your motorcycle. I think I got a flashlight here, let's see. So you can see this one is going to the rear cylinder right there. And if I come around to the other side of the motorcycle, there's the other one down in there. It's kind of hard to see, I gotta move that, but it's going in, that's where the front cylinder right there so what you want to do is you want to have an equal amount of vacuum and with, when you have two carburetors like this there is a screw on the bottom of the carburetors and for this motorcycle it's right here if you could see that you have to turn that screw and what that'll do is it'll, it'll vary the second carburetor to the other cylinder and you sort of change it and what you want to do is you want to get it so the level doesn't change anymore I mean this water could be one could be high one could be low but if it's not changing as long as it's not moving up or down in either one then you know you have an even amount of vacuum and your carburetors are synced so I'm gonna go ahead and start the engine 
and uh, I'll show you how it works. So here's the bottles. I'm gonna go ahead and rev it up. You can actually see some uh, vapor. Now you can see that the water level is not really changing that much. It, it might go up and down just a little bit, but it, it just it, it's not filling up one glass or the other. Now I'm going to take these out of sink, and you'll see how water all goes from one side to the other. Water is starting to come up. Okay, it's very hard to get to the screw. There we go. So you can actually see that water level changing, and you can even hear the engine slowing down. So you can see how the water emptied out and it filled up this side. Now I'm going to go ahead and balance it. I'm going to turn the uh, screw a little bit and get the carburetors back in sync. And you can hear the, the engine actually is starting to sound better. And it doesn't take much of a turn to that screw, like just a quarter of a turn can throw everything off. Oh, I think my light went out. There we go. Or the other way. And if you and then if you look at this hose, you can actually see the bubbles sort of passing, and what you want is those bubbles to stay in the same place so you know the pressure is the same on both sides. You want to make small adjustments and eventually you get it so it stays in the same place. It might even help you if you put a mark, but the important thing is no motion up or down. They could be uneven, but as long as there's no motion up and down again, you'll have equal pressure in both sides and your carbs will be synced. Well, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I will probably have a video coming up soon where uh, I'll ride the bike and uh, I know I had one last year where I went ahead and rode it a little bit. I'll throw up uh, another one. I'll throw up. <laughs> I'll throw it another one. Um, I'll get the GoPro camera and I'll go ahead and mount it on my helmet and I'll take you along for a ride. And uh, again, Kevin, thank you very much. I really greatly appreciate it. Okay, take care. Uh, I really appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and especially you. And I hope you have a great evening. Take care.